Hey Crawford Street kids, are you ready for a special Advent edition of Crawford Street Just for Kids? Let's see what Miss Danielle has for you this week. Hey Crawford Street kids, welcome back to week three of Advent for Crawford Street for Kids. You can see I'm back in our sanctuary standing next to our beautiful Advent wreath. And I bet you've noticed something different about my wreath this week. I don't just have two candles lit, I have three candles lit. And one of those candles is pink. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Week three of Advent is joy. We're gonna be talking about joy. And we know that Advent is our time of waiting. We're waiting for Christ, our Savior, to be born, and we're also waiting for his final return. And so the first week of Advent, we lit our first purple candle, our candle of hope. The people have hope that our Savior was going to be born, and that's called our prophet's candle. Last week, we lit another purple candle, and that's called the Bethlehem candle, or our candle of peace, because we knew that the Christ child that was going to be born was going to bring us peace. And so week three, we've lit our pink candle, our candle of joy. And we're going to call this candle the shepherd's candle. And we call it that is because you know, you've probably heard this story when the shepherds were out in the fields, they were watching over their flocks and suddenly all these angels appeared and told them the good, great, joyful news that Jesus had been born. He was in Bethlehem and that Jesus was born for people just like the shepherds. Jesus was not born to just be a savior for the kings or the queens or, or people that were wealthy. Jesus had come to save everyone and to be a king for everyone. And so in our Bible from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, it says this, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And what they're talking about is these angels were out um, appearing to the shepherds that were out in the fields and said, you know, this is the great news that Jesus is here and he has been born. And so we are in our third week of joy because we are so excited and so ready for the birth of our Savior. So my hope for you is that at home, you are enjoying um, maybe lighting your own Advent, Advent wreath at home. Maybe you're reading your little devotions each day or um, doing something with your family, doing something for other people and that you have hope, peace, and joy. And next week, we'll be back talking about our last week of Advent and lighting our fourth candle on our Advent wreath. So before we go, let's join in on our Advent prayer where you um, say a response with me. And if you'll remember, your response is, O come, O come, Emmanuel. And so let us begin. Lord, you are the light of the world. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Heavenly Father, we long for your plan of rescue and redemption to be realized. Give us hearts that see your beauty and wait in hope for you to make all things good and new again. O come, O come, Emmanuel. May your light and love shine brightly in our hearts, spreading hope and peace and joy to those around us. In your name we pray, amen. So happy Advent, everyone, and I hope to see you soon, and I hope you stay safe, and I love and miss you all. See you next week. Bye-bye.